everyone and welcome back to Diamond Me Stress Free. Now I've decided I wanted to kit up a second diamond paint and I have already got one on the go at the minute. But it's a square diamond painting and I feel like I'm going stir crazy just working on it because it is a big one. It is a big one. So I want to start this off just, just for the night. So if this was already kitted up I probably would, would have been sat here for an hour working on this. Uh, I do do a lot of colouring as well and a lot of art so I do have a lot to pick from. Uh, so yeah I'm just going to go ahead and usually it does take me about an hour, <laughs> an hour to kit up. I should have took this plastic off but I think I'm more or less sorted. It's a beautiful canvas, I really like Hanalyn. This is one of the, her newer ones. The Diamond Art Club, I do believe, and it's lovely and bright. I do like really light, uh, bright canvases. I do have a more, I don't want to say dull, but it's not as bright as this. Apple's on the way, which I'm looking forward to seeing in person. So the canvas can just go there for now. And I've managed to get doggers all over it. My dog currently is in the room, so if you hear any noise, it is Rolo. But this is the illustration, and it's flower market girl and there's 60 colours in this 60 colours the 51 by 71 so I'm not going to rush this I haven't got loads and loads and loads of rounds so this will just be popped in my wardrobe and I'm not working on it and pull it out when I see fit I do like the look of square ones a little bit better once they're finished but I do enjoy the process of the the circle I've just done my nails and I've not had long nails in months months and months and months so it feels weird i haven't done a fantastic job but they'll do they're better than going paying at the nail place to go and get them done so i've got all my spur baggies I've got my scissors all the drills my pots this container i just purchased off amazon it was about 20 pound and i do really like it i do really like it i've got two of these actually the other one i prefer more even though with this one is better quality because i find that the other ones easier to pop the lid on and off of so we'll start off i like to keep mine in color order as well just like my pencils so we'll start off with the greens so this is going to be an a b now i love 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 the look of aurora borealis um beads diamonds whatever you want to call them but i hate placing them i hate placing them with a passion I actually saw a post among friends, it's not, is it friends of diamond painting, VIP diamond paintings I think, something like that. And someone had put a similar post about not liking them and I saw, well I read, a really brilliant tip and I've not tried it yet. But the tip was to have a damp cloth at the side of you and then keep dabbing into that so you no wax in the pen just dab onto the damp cloth so I'm gonna have to try that because I get to the ABs and I dread it to be honest I dread it even though they are so beautiful they are uh, there's a new crystal that's what was it electric electro something like that I don't know what it is though I am quite curious actually so I'm looking forward to seeing somebody's video or somebody's comment explaining what it actually is uh, so let's go to the more turquoise ones, then we'll go to the dark greens. Uh, this is not my favourite thing to do, I don't like kitting up. Uh, I'll be happy when it's done, so I thought, you know what, instead of uh, me sitting here and being bored, I'll film it, why not? But I didn't realise there was that many colours and I didn't think ahead having long nails again and getting used to them and picking the drills up and stuff and doing the stickers. <laughs> Uh, so it might have not been my brightest idea, but we'll just go with that. I've noticed as well, um, I've gained about 70 subscribers, so thank you to everyone for to who subscribed. And if you've come over from my colouring channel, leave me a little flower emoji and let me see in the comments who's here and where from, because I'm quite curious. Because I know that the tags and stuff are different over in um, the diamond painting world. I'm still uh, a newbie, definitely. And I'm learning tricks and tips every single time that I go on a group or watch a video. I'm learning something new. 
So by no means am I an expert, but I'm enjoying learning. I'm enjoying learning and I thought, instead of putting the, the diamond painting stuff on my main channel, why don't I just make a second channel? It might be extra work, but you know, I think it'll be fun. So that's what I've done. So if you didn't come over from um, my main channel, I don't know if I said it in the first video, but my name's Debbie. My real name's actually Deborah, but I don't like that. I only get called that off my parents when I've done something wrong when I was a kid. <laughs> I occasionally call it myself when I've done something daft. I go, oh, Deborah, for God's sake. Right, I think that's all the greens that nice. We'll move to the browns. I just find doing it this way. If you've got all the colours mixed, that's what I used to do. Your, eye, your eyes are like darting everywhere for certain colours. So if you keep them all similar colours next to each other, it just works out easier. Well, that's what it does for me anyway. That's a brown. Yeah, so I'm 34 years old. I've just moved out actually. We've been in this house now two weeks. And Thursday, two weeks and two days. It's a Friday when I'm filming this. A Friday evening. That one's sticking up. Uh, any more browns? That's more like a red. Yeah, so it's a Friday evening when I'm filming this. I'm going to have to put it on there because I pulled it off a blue one. And I've, like I said, I've just finished doing my nails. That took me about an hour, second time doing them. The first time they did not turn out, so I had to uh, scrap them and start again. Um, a little bit more about me. I've got two children. I've got Lewis, who's 16 and a half, and he's just started college, and we've had, oh God, it's been annoying. He got put on the wrong course, so we've had to, all day, all day today, I've been trying to organise him, going into a different course, and he's been going into school, trying to fix it as well. Uh, college, I'm going to be staying in school for the next year, I think. Well, he's, he's sorted it anyway, and the college that he's going to is a lot closer to the new home, anyway. But he's, he's two in one course that he really wanted to do. He wants to do English literature, so he's, so he's doing that. But the woman said, if you're doing English literature, you have to do art. There's no way of getting out of it. <laughs> so he has to do art. But luckily, his mum is into art, so he can borrow all my art supplies when he needs to for his art classes. And I've got a daughter. She's five, five and a half. She was born in December. She came on the 23rd of December and I was meant to be going to America, to New York on the unboxing day, the 25th of December. And she came early, which was fun. She came, 20, the gestation was 28 weeks and two days. So she was very, very early, very early, which meant she had to stay in the NICU for over a month. I think it was about six weeks. It's funny the things that you remember and the things that you don't. Uh, and a side effect of her being born so early, she's got uh, quadriplegic cerebral palsy, so she can't properly use her arms and legs. Her right arm is a little bit better than her other limbs, but she can't walk, she can't crawl, sit up, or talk. So I'm her main. I'm her main curer. Uh, hence all the hobbies, all the hobbies, because at night time, once she's finally settled in bed, I can now come up here. I didn't have this art room. I was in the day. If you look at my old videos, I would have shown you my old like, setup. I was sitting in the dining room, the family dining room. Now I finally got an art room. It's not a diamond painting room, it's a, an all around hobby room. Uh, so, yeah, so once I've sorted out of her bed, then it's. I come upstairs. Why is there a six still on that? That's irritating. Yeah, I come upstairs and do my own thing. My husband's downstairs. He's actually watching a documentary about the Queen because unfortunately she died yesterday. Rest in peace. Yeah, she died yesterday. That was really sad. Really, really sad. Am I going to have enough here? Just, I'm going to have to go over that six. Let's turn it around. Yeah, so um, yesterday wasn't a fun day for anybody, I don't think. But yeah, he's, he's downstairs watching uh, a documentary and he wants to start, he said this months ago, it's nothing to do with what's happened, but he wants to start watching The Crown, <laughs> so we're going to start watching that tonight. So I'll do this off camera because it'll be really nicer, 
when I get all these cut up and ready. No, normally I'd be a little bit more organised and have a carrier bag for all the rubbish and I forgot. So I'm not going downstairs making noise. So I'm going to have a pile of rubbish over here. I have got this nifty, it came with one of these kits and I wouldn't be without it now. It's, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'll show you how I use it. But I thought I'd mention, I've left one out, one, three, ten. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs of these. Now I understand why. It's because all of Hannah Lynn's pictures, they're quite um, bold, outlined with black. So I'm assuming, let me just double check. Yeah, they're quite thickly outlined with the black. Um, I hadn't noticed that. But we'll get around it. We'll get round it. It's literally managed to get the dog's hair. <laughs> the dog's hair all over it. I've got to show you why she's so cute. So while mommy sat here doing this, I've got my heat pad ready because I do get back pain while I'm uh, diamond painting. There is my baby Rolo. Rolo, she's eight years old. Can I zoom you in? No. Oh, it's too slow. It's too slow. Let me bring you down. Hello, baby. You're a good girl, aren't you? I've got all this fake uh, sheepskin little rug to sit on. You're a good girl, aren't you? She had uh, a sister up until I think seven months ago. Her sister died and they were brought up together as babies. Such a shame. So she follows me around everywhere. So let's get into it, shall we? I think I'll do a couple just in normal time for you. I'll lift you up a little bit. And then I will time lapse the rest of it because it's going to take me, it always takes me ages. For some reason it always takes me ages. Now I know I'm going to need a spur bag. My bags. And I haven't got any stickers handy. I'm not very well organised, am I? Uh, I'll put these to one side. I'll remember that they're three tens and write a sticker separate. So let's find my three ten. Here we go. I should have a roll or cam so you, so you can see her at all times. She's dead cute. Like I said, she's um, since moving in this house, she just wants to be with me all the time. I mean, even coming to the toilet with me, going to bed. She doesn't. We don't allow her to sleep in our bedroom. She's got a crate downstairs. But um, the first couple of nights in this new house was uh, a nightmare. A nightmare. Let's get this out of here. Yeah, she screamed. Excuse me. She screamed the house down. Um, what my new neighbours must have thought. They must have thought I was doing something nasty to her, but it wasn't. It was just she wanted to be upstairs and all that. But I thought if I go down that road, she'll never go in a crate ever again. So you see what I did with this, and it just it's flicking. It, it, it's superb. If I didn't have this, I wouldn't damn in vain. <laughs> and it's funny, I'm going to put another bag actually in this. Because. When diamond painting first started, like a couple of years ago, is when I first found out about it. And I was the first one to go, nope, nope, not for me, not for me, absolutely not. Even some of my colouring YouTube friends were doing it. I said, nope, not for me, not for me. And then I caved in and it was a Hannah Lynn one that I first bought and I just loved the way it looked. And I only bought, that was one in that what order. And then... The second order that I did, there was a massive offer on. It was a really good offer that I couldn't pass up. And I was currently in hospital with Isabel. She was having one of the, the surgeries. So while I was sat in the waiting room, feeling sorry for myself, I ordered myself a couple more. And they were all handling, that's all, all about. And then once I'd finished them, I think I've got one. I've got, um, is it Alice Lost? By handling. Uh, I've still got that one that I've not done yet. I think that's enough of the three tens. There we go. Um, yeah, so I've still got that one left over actually. And I wish I'd not bought that one. It's huge and it's a lot of black again. A lot of black. So I'll keep all of it for the time being. And then if I don't start it in 12, 12 months, 18 months, I'll see if my husband can pop it on eBay for me. Um, but we'll see. 498. I do want to be careful because I have a habit of mixing colours up. And even worse so when I'm uh, talking. So yeah, what I was trying to say is it's weird that I'd said no, no, no to diamond painting. And then I got back into it for some reason. 
I know what it was. I remember what it was. One of my other favourite artists, Mystic Art Mirrors. Oh, whoops, I put too much in here. Where's my trays? A little bit out of there. Yeah, Mystic Art Mirrors brought out, um, it was like a turquoise, but I put it on the wall actually, and she's holding like an octopus. And it was too cute to pass up. Let me get the rest of these in here. And I'm going to have to get my stickers. Uh, yeah, it was too cute to pass up. And then I completely and utterly fell down the rabbit hole. I'm going to go and get my stickers. Yes, so like I was saying, I've got my stickers now. I couldn't find them, I was going to blame Loris. <laughs> but no, they were in the bottom of the drawer. Uh, after that, I just fell down the rabbit hole of ordering and ordering them. When, it, when they were on offer, most of the time, when they were on offer and with a sale on top of that, it's when I'd order. Um, I have been naughty a couple of times. Like there was, was it beneath the sea, under the sea? The one with the octopus. Um, I paid full price for that because I knew that it wouldn't be in stock for very long. Things are not going my way tonight. Yeah, so I, I did end up paying full price for that. But I'm so glad that that's in my stash. And I'm looking forward to starting that. But that is another square. And the next square that I want to start off is either the big, big drawgon from Game of Thrones or the Dreamer Designs uh, Christmas scene that I managed to snag on it from eBay. I do keep checking there every now and again. Because you never know, you might get lucky. You might get lucky. There's one that's fell out there as well. There we go. Save the day. You're going to go in the bag for me without any hiccups. You most certainly are. There we go. I keep all the rubbish to one side. And I can see one rogue one. So that can go in there. Has anybody been watching the House of the Dragon? Oh. I say oh and I'm really enjoying it but last week's episode was a little bit slow apart from these stickers are absolutely crap I've just put them on and they just keep coming off um, yeah it was a bit slow but the last episode is these stickers are horrendous the first time that I'm using them they're awful yeah the, the end of it when we saw sea smoke won't say too much in case that you do want to watch it Seven four three. There we go. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, I am enjoying it, and I've, I was. I finished it now. <laughs> A whole nine or ten episode podcast. You know, like forty minutes to an hour long each. I've listened to all of that, and it's like the, somebody else is like a fan made version of what they thought the last season of Game of Thrones should have been. And I totally agreed by the very end, the very, very end, I was a tiny bit disappointed and I was listening to it and I was like, mm, not really, that wouldn't happen, that wouldn't happen, that doesn't go, what about this and what about that? Um, but I did enjoy it nonetheless. So I need to catch up with YouTube because I've just been listening to that damn thing. Um, I'm hoping that I don't have to bag too many up considering them stickers are rubbish. I'll have to try some different ones because I don't want the colours getting mixed up and then you're getting halfway through. That would be a nightmare. So I think I'm going to time lapse the majority of the rest of this and I'll come back when I've just got a couple left I think and then I'll map out my first portion of the um, the canvas and hopefully that'll be a good video and then I'll be able to start it off as well. Shall I start it off on a video? Yeah, maybe. I think so. Another night, I fall in your sight. Like a night. Mm -hmm. 
so I surprised myself there. I think it took me about 35, 40 minutes, but they're all in. I'm just double checking. But yeah, they're all in. We've only got the three tender blacks and I've got half a bag of reds as well. Um, so there isn't any other colours. I'm telling you, this thing is a lifesaver. I don't know what you'd call it, but it just came with that kit. Uh, I have no idea what you'd call it. But I think we'll start off, let me have a say. Yeah, we'll start off at the bottom, I think. Because what I do is I roll these up and then either clip them there at the top or I'll let them hang over the back of my desk. I'll pull my desk out and then let them hang over. So I think what you said is here. Well, where's my washi tape? It's most certainly here. So I like to use I use one big strip across, I'll show you. And then I reuse that strip as much as I can so I don't have to keep going. Uh, getting new washi tape and going through it and chucking it away. There's no, there's no reason to not reuse it if you can, I think. So we'll do a decent size area. I think that should be good enough. And push the tape down. The plastic is still over the top as well of this. Try and get that line as straight as possible. Unfortunately, like I said, I do get back pain doing diamond painting. I've tried all different tricks and tips and nothing seems to fix the issue. So because I've been doing this for a little while now, I'm going to probably have to hang this up in the wardrobe and then start it tomorrow. Uh, I think I want to start directly in the middle. So we need two pieces of tape, if that's what we're doing. Uh, we'll start off here. Uh, we'll do a, a good good sized chunk for the first one. We'll get a plait in. Um, I'm worried I'm over facing myself for one um, one section. Did I cut that big enough? No I didn't. Deborah. I've just been saying about waist. Uh, that should be big enough. I believe that this washi tape actually came with the diamond painting which I really enjoy. Go on, we'll do it to the there. We'll do it to there. And would you like me to do a video on this? Or I might just start this one and then carry on with the videos with the rest of it maybe. But I do hope that you like the video, just a bit of a, a relaxing one. Please do consider clicking that subscribe button it's just a little clip for you but it does mean a lot for me so thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one bye